Hello and welcome everybody. This is Miranda's Crafter and I want to thank you for being here today watching my content. This is another of the Ark Survival Ascended Tips and Tricks You Must Know video. This is another of those awesome little quality of life enhancements that were added into the game that sometimes people may miss unless they watch a video about it or accidentally stumble onto it in game. This is one of those super, super important things. This is basically a dino superpower added to our little buddy here, the dung beetle. So today you can see that I got me a little buddy here named Cthulhu. He is my little dung beetle buddy today for this video. Uh, he's just kind of chilling. He's sitting here. What he has now added to his arsenal, which always was a very, very useful dinosaur right here, is the ability for him to take poop in his inventory and turn it into fertilizer. That has always been one of the key dinos to have in your base for utility uh, because we all need to grow crops. Crops are heavily dependent upon being fertilized, and this is one of the easiest ways in game to just kind of automate that for yourself and get yourself a, a fertilizer producing factory, basically. I mean, this guy, this guy's like a poop fertilizer factory. That's one of the key things that you do when you're trying to grow crops is have you some dung beetles. And, you know, you can get them from various different places, uh, the deserts. The caves is the best place to look for dung beetles on the island map, especially uh, being there is no real desert area to get them from. The caves are going to be where you're going to find these from. Uh, various different caves, all the different caves, a lot of the dung beetles will spawn in there. They can be a lot higher level in the caves than they normally would be out in the wild if they spawned on the map in the wild um, but the caves are the best source to go to find you this little guy the best thing you do when you want to tame one is just have some medium or larger feces in your inventory and when you get up on him you put it in your last slot on your hot bar and it's a passive tame where you just feed him whenever he's ready for it. And you just got to keep stuff beat back so that you don't get him attacked while you're trying to tame him. Because if he gets attacked, it'll reset the taming and you won't be able to tame him. So that's where you find them and how you get them. Pretty easy dino to acquire, honestly. But they are so useful. And now they have been made even more, ultimately more useful. Because they've been given the new power of feces collection so right now you can see that i have it set to where feces collection is off okay and if we go over to our other little buddy mr poopy pants here this is uh a fiomia this is one of my, <laughs> this is one of my favorite mechanics in the game i swear i've i've gotten so many laughs out of this over the years but if you take your fiomia which is a good dino to pair with your dung beetle this is your essential garden dino uh, this helps you build your garden and, and maintain it so good put some stem berries in its inventory and just force feed it stem berries and he starts a pooping and this is so hilarious you can hear him throwing out poop right now he's slinging them left and right i'm gonna go ahead and feed him all three stacks of these stem berries that i've got in his inventory right there you can see and a good thing to do with the fiomia is just increase his weight and increase his food so that he can uh, be able to do more stem berries because you can see his food's going down right now while I'm doing this and I'll definitely want to be careful that I don't take him to the point of no return here and get him killed but yeah that's what you do you just force feed him stem berries and then you end up with the big old pile of poopy um, for some reason here this is stacked into a stack hmm that's weird 
Let me look in my inventory and see. Yeah, okay, I've got 48. So for some reason, they've changed that. And I didn't know that until just now, but used to when the Fiomia pooped, he would poop all over the place and it would stack up in huge piles all around you and you could bury yourself in the poop and that was hilarious. But I guess they've decided to change that mechanic now to where it just comes down in one little stack. So you can see I've got all the poopy in my inventory. So let's just throw that stuff out. Let's see about getting some over here. Throw some out over here. And I guess they did that to probably lighten the load on the server, if I was to guess. Because I know that in games like this, the more items you have out that have to be rendered in the game, the worse the performance. So, oh, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> wow, what a time to crash. Okay, I must have overdid it with the poop. All right, I'll be right back. I could tell that it was about to crash because the poop was stopping coming out and I was sitting there hitting the trigger and it was doing nothing. So yeah, that's funny that it crashed on me right in the middle of my video like that. Maybe I discovered a bug, I don't know. Maybe if somebody from Wildcard's watching that they can investigate it and see if it's something that can help them make the game better. Okay, so now I have no poop and I don't know where it went. I didn't have the poop collection enabled on my, oh, okay, and it just basically took me back to before me feeding him. So let's get it going again. Uh, didn't have the poop collection enabled on the dung beetle or it would have picked all that up. And that's basically going to show you this new ability of the dung beetle. So let me pick up all this. And I want to make it out into separate piles because I want you to see it happening easier than you can if you see it with just one pile so i want to kind of have it be all over the place okay so that's enough for our test right there you can see that there's poop laying everywhere uh, then you go into the dunk beetles menu and you say enable feces collection boom he got it all now that his abilities turned on he got it all and you saw him just then the fiomia pooped and he picked it up and he does his little animation. You see him do his little animation. That's cool. But anyway, we'll look in his inventory and bang, he's got all that feces in there. Now, what you would do at this point is you would enable the dung beetle to wander. And as he wanders, he'll transform it into fertilizer. I think it takes like 30 minutes for one piece to be transferred into a, pa a, pa a bag of fertilizer. So, you know, it, it can take a minute, but, you know, like while you're just kind of doing other stuff, he's just continually in the background over there making fertilizer. So it stacks up pretty quick and once you get your crop pots full they don't drain nitrogen so fast that you can't keep up with it so one or two dung beetles is probably sufficient for just about everybody i wouldn't see anybody needing uh 10 to 15 dung beetles it's just a waste on your dino cap that you can tame basically at that point because you just don't need that many dung beetles unless they're just your thing or something you know because i don't think they can breed so i don't think there's any reason to really have that many uh, but while he's on wander, it will also have the added benefit of as he comes in range, he will be like a little hoover that's picking up poop in your base all over the place. And he just grabbed another piece while we were watching there. Um, so the, the smart thing to do with these would to be to increase their weight so that they can obviously hold more poop. Because right now he is maxed out on his weight with what he has in his inventory. You can see he's 33 of 6. So he's way encumbered. <laughs> so he's not going nowhere. He can be on wander and he just won't move because he just can't. But that's okay because he has a pretty good size range. Now, let's talk about the range a little bit. It has been discovered through testing from some other YouTubers that I've seen that the main thing that determines the dung beetle's range that he, he can actually pick it up in a radius around himself is his level 
Okay, so as you get more levels on this thing, mine is 91 right now. I'm going to put one in weight. He's 92. His level is small amount increased. Now it can get crazy huge. I think it's like 16 to 20 foundation range that he can pick up in at a max that's been discovered so far. And it also has been determined that a tiny bit of melee damage added into the leveling process will also increase the range a tiny amount. Uh, so throw three, four, five levels into melee damage. And then I would say put the rest in weight. And if you want to, a little in food maybe just to make sure that it, you know, in down times that you have that he doesn't starve to death and die on you. Uh, but weight and a tiny bit of melee damage and then a pumping those levels that's what will increase his range so yeah this guy he is just so totally awesome for your base uh, you need dung beetles this is one of those uh, dino superpowers that you need to know about because this is such a key utility dino all right and i just want to thank you for watching my content today hopefully this has taught you something and you found it interesting if you have please do me a favor and like and subscribe i'm trying to grow my community and i can only do that if you'll help me i'm trying to reach my first milestone of 1000 subscribers and i'm definitely on my way thank you so much for your support and i really appreciate your time today have a great day